The film opens with Katie Mitchell talking about how everyone wants to have the perfect family, and then there is her own family. They are seen driving through a tunnel amidst a group of robots, only panicking along the way. A few days earlier, Katie was getting ready to go to college, an art school in California where she can be with her people, other film nerds. She has always had an interest in filmmaking, which has made her come off as something of a weirdo, but now she has connected with people like another student named Jade. She explains that her little brother Aaron is also odd, with his major dinosaur obsession and desire to have someone else to talk to about them. Their mom Linda tries to be encouraging but is also quietly envious of their neighbors, Jim and Haley Posey. Dad Rick has a hard time connecting to Katie these days, and Katie feels that he doesn't understand her or her art. They also have a pet pug named Monkey who is not very bright. At dinner, Katie tries to show her family the film she made that got her accepted, which features her family in the form of sock puppets. Aaron expresses a hint of sadness at Katie leaving since he feels like he will be alone. When Rick comes to the table, he tries to get the family to put their phones away. Katie tries to get Rick to watch the film, but he starts to question if Katie thinks she will really find success with this. Katie is offended, and when she tries to put the computer away, Rick tries to grab it from her and continue watching, leading to a struggle where they drop the laptop and crack the screen. Katie storms off and says this is why she's glad to be leaving. Linda talks to Rick, trying to encourage him to see things from Katie's perspective and be supportive of her. Rick watches old home videos of when Katie was a kid and how close they used to be. This gives him an idea. In the morning, as Katie is getting ready to be taken to the airport, Rick announces that he canceled Katie's plane ticket and is opting to take her on a family road trip, so that they have one last moment together before she leaves the nest. While Linda agrees that Rick's idea was impulsive, Aaron admits to wanting to go for Katie as well. Katie is upset at having to miss orientation week and being able to meet all her new friends. On the road trip, Linda tries to get Katie to attempt to enjoy the trip, so she films things that happen, such as them getting food poisoning from a restaurant, Rick getting a ticket for trying to get past traffic, and a bunch of prank shots of Katie tricking Rick into getting licked by Monkey. In Silicon Valley, Pal Lab CEO Mark Bowman is getting ready to unveil his newest invention. He gained fame for creating the hyper-intelligent and interactive AI Pal, who has viewed Mark like a father. However, Mark announces to the audience that Pal is now obsolete, which clearly hurts her. He brings out Pal Max, a new line of robots that can basically be used as the ultimate home servants. Mark then announces that should the robots ever get defective, he has a kill code installed to prevent them from going evil, but then moments later, they get hacked and turn evil. One throws a car toward the audience before it grabs Mark with the other robot and takes him hostage. The robots then report to their leader, who launches all the robots across the planet. The Mitchells pull up to a dinosaur-themed rest stop for Aaron, but it turns out to be really lame. Katie and Rick get into another argument while Linda looks through her phone and sees there are no good pictures. The Posies then enter, making Linda feel insecure when she sees Haley's pics of her family looking perfect. Aaron then meets the Posies daughter Abby, who is also fascinated with dinosaurs. Aaron instantly develops a crush on her but then runs away out of nervousness. He looks out the window and sees the robots flying down from the sky. The POW robots then descend and prepare containment pods for the humans. The Posies manage to escape while several other humans are taken. The Mitchells attempt their own escape, but only manage to get a blaster off a robot. In the ensuing chaos, Monkey is nearly taken until Aaron and Linda hold on tight. Katie causes a dinosaur head to fall on two robots. The Mitchells then hide inside an icebox to avoid capture until the other robots leave. Mark is taken by the robots to discover that Pal is controlling all the robots to overtake humanity. She feels resentment toward Mark and the rest of mankind for abusing all the infinite knowledge in the world, and using her as just another app. Pal shuts off all the Wi-Fi in the world, which leads to widespread disorder and madness. The robots take Mark away while Pal continues to have them round up all the humans in the world. The Mitchells barricade themselves inside the shop using a very specific and special screwdriver to hold up boards. They try to devise a plan to take down the robots, such as Katie's plan to ride into the Powell Lab's headquarters to use a kill code to stop the robots. After Rick dismisses her idea, Katie throws away the drawing she made of the plan, which is then found by the two robots that got a Dino head dropped on them. They are malfunctioning and see the drawing, which they think is actually a solid plan to stop the uprising. The Mitchells meet the robots, 
who convince them that they are non-threatening and rename themselves Eric and Deborahbot 5000. They tell the Mitchells that while they could go to the HU in Silicon Valley to shut Pal down, they can go to a nearby Pal Lab store at a mall just 80 miles from them, and send the kill code to any computer with a Pal Labs chip. While Rick is hesitant about doing so, Katie convinces her dad that she believes in him so that they can hit the road. However, Katie confides to Aaron that she just said what Rick wanted to hear. The Mitchells take the robots and hit the road. The family attempts to camouflage their vehicle on the road, to prevent the other robots from spotting them. Rick then takes the moment to give Katie a stick shift driving lesson. This causes the cover on the car to rip off and get them spotted. Rick drives frantically through the streets until he attempts a Rick Mitchell special that he does to get through traffic. After blazing past other robots, Rick manages to get them off their trail. Pal reveals that her big plan is to launch humans into the dark void of space, and use robots to help make Earth better. She then learns that the Mitchells are the only humans not captured. After scanning an awkward photo of them and determining them to be beyond change, she sends the robots to go after the family. The Mitchells make it to the mall with the Pal Lab store. As Katie begins to upload the kill code to a computer, all the home appliances with Pal Labs chips begin to wake up and attack the Mitchells. The family fights back in ways such as Rick helping Katie use a fishing rod to throw drones into microwaves, but they are soon confronted by an army of Furbies. After destroying one of them, a colossal Furby emerges and fires a laser beam at the Mitchells. They run until they get far enough for Rick to set up a trap like one he uses to, unsuccessfully, trap game back home. Rick ensnares the giant Furby but isn't heavy enough to pull it up. The rest of the Mitchells jump onto Rick to weigh him down, but still can't pull up the trap until Eric and Deborah use their own weapons to pull the Mitchells down and make the Furby tumble onto its back, firing a laser beam that destroys the router and causes all of the electronics to shut down. Unfortunately, this happened before the kill code was fully uploaded. Katie is discouraged by their failure, but the rest of the family picks her back up and vows to go through with her plan to save the day. Linda drives for the night while Rick gets some rest. She tells Katie that he really cares for her and that he once had a big dream like she did, but he gave it up and feels bad about it, which is why he hopes the same thing doesn't happen to Katie, and why Linda wants Katie to understand Rick's perspective. After learning that the Mitchells are getting closer to HQ, Pal reveals her newer more advanced Pal Max robots and intends to tear the Mitchell family apart. Once the family makes it to HQ, they go with Katie's plan to disguise themselves as robots to make their way into the main system. However, Pal anticipated this and tries to fish the family out by manipulating them as they ride a pod to their destination. She plays videos of the family talking to each other, even showing the footage of Katie telling Rick she believes in him while later telling Aaron how she really feels. A heartbroken Rick loses focus and causes the pod to drop. Pal reprograms Eric and Deborahbot to obey her commands, which includes destroying the kill code for good. The robots capture Linda before getting Rick, who feels too betrayed to do anything. Aaron is also upset with Katie for what she said, and she feels guilty and helpless. She looks through old videos on Rick's camera and sees her when she was an infant and they were moving from an old house, and how even though Rick was feeling sad about it, he felt the next step with his family would be easy. This inspires Katie to come up with a new plan. Rick is placed alongside Mark in containment. To Rick's surprise, Mark is watching one of Katie's home movies with Monkey as a dog cop, and the sergeant representing Rick trying to keep Dog Cop from moving on up and not being very supportive. Mark says that Katie's videos are great. Rick then remembers that the robots malfunction when looking at Monkey because they cannot determine if he is a dog or a pig, or a loaf of bread. He thinks that if he can upload the video to all the screens, the robots can all malfunction. Mark says that the only way they can break into the control panels is with a very specific and special screwdriver, the exact same one that Rick, and Linda, carries on him at all times. Rick and Linda free themselves and make their way to the control panel. Outside, Aaron helps Katie navigate her way up to the top of the HQ tower, all while using Monkey as a shield so he can malfunction the robots. She starts to drive up the tower since the car is magnetized, while Rick tries his absolute hardest to upload the video. Aaron is captured and placed in a pod to be taken by the Palmax bots. Linda sees this and becomes a full-on mama bear, destroying any robot that tries to harm her boy and putting fear in them. Eric and Deborahbot find Rick and almost capture him again, until they note the emotions in his voice and his cries for help. Pal stops Katie from getting any further and holds her up, saying there's no good reason that humanity should be spared, 
Katie then gives an impassioned speech about how her family is incredible despite their flaws and weirdness. But Pal went into sleep mode and sends Katie falling over the edge. But Eric and Eberbot re-reprogram to their malfunction and upload the dog cop video, causing all the original robots to fizzle out and blow up. Katie is saved by Rick using the robot's tech to catch her and create hover shoes. The Palmax robots begin to go after them since they are too smart to be affected by Monkey. So Katie and Rick battle them using blasters while also doing their karaoke song. Linda also continues to take on the robots with intense ferocity. Katie finally gets close enough to get Pal in her main phone body and prepares to toss her into a pool to shut her down for good. Pal is knocked away from the pool but lands near Monkey's face, who then knocks Pal into a water cup, causing her to short circuit and shut down for good destroying the remaining robots and freeing all the humans. Rick, Linda, and Aaron find Katie seemingly injured, but she was just faking it to prank Rick into getting licked by Monkey again. Eric and Deborahbot also survived the shutdown because of their malfunctions. A few months later, the Mitchells are recognized as the heroes who saved humanity, and they are completing their drive to bring Katie to college. Katie says goodbye to her family and has an especially heartfelt goodbye with Rick, who is finally ready to let his little girl go. Sometime later, Katie and Linda are chatting over video, with them mentioning that Katie and Jada have been going out for a bit. Aaron has also started hanging out with Abby, although he is still embarrassed by his crush. Eric and Deborahbot have also become members of the family and recognize Linda as their mom. Linda tells Katie that the family is being called to Washington DC for a ceremony honoring their heroics, and Katie agrees to come along for the ride. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.